Well, good morning. We are glad that you joined us and we are here talking about holiday scams. We're actually going to do the 12 scams Christmas. And my name is Jason. I'm with the Better Business Bureau. Uh, the name of our Better Business Bureau is actually the Better Business Bureau serving the fall line corridor. Now, we came up with that name because we have offices in Augusta, Macon, and Columbus, and that was known as the fall line. And we are we actually serve over 77 counties, over 47,000 businesses, and over 2.5 million consumers. And we, it seems like we're always doing something. There's always something going on, and we cannot do it by ourselves because we have some wonderful friends. And one of our friends is, uh, well, it's Mr. Sean Conroy. And Mr. Sean, will you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Hey, thank you, Jason. And we appreciate the Better Business Bureau inviting us to this holiday scam webinar. Uh, and Jason said it, uh, in consumer protection, it takes a number of players to work working together to help stop scams and protect consumers. Uh, and so uh, at the Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division, we're uh, uh, the state level consumer protection law enforcement organization and we enforce a number of uh, consumer protection laws, including the Fair Business Practices Act. Uh, we have counselors available for consumers to contact Monday through Friday. And we on our website at consumer.ga.gov, you can learn more about us as well. Our phone number, and we'll probably give this out again later in the program, is 404-651-8600. So what we try to do at our office is uh, investigate what complaints when they're in the public interest. We don't represent individual consumers, and we, we get about 18 to 20,000 complaints a year. We have a staff of about uh, 45 people, uh, investigators, lawyers, counselors that, again, talk to consumers. So we also place consumer information on our website. We have a, a, a program called Ask Consumer Ed that where we answer consumer questions twice a month from real consumers. And, uh, and so that's, uh, that's our organization in a nutshell. And I'll, I'll pass it back to you, Jason. <laughs> well, it's, it's I've, it's always funny to me when people say, you know, what do you do at the Better Business Bureau? And I always say, well, a lot. And uh, because the Better Business Bureau tends to act like a funnel or an intake and we get it. And what we do is, you know, with these great friends like Sean at the Attorney General's, you know, Consumer Protection Division, we're able to say, hey, this is it needs a greater look. It needs a state level investigation. And so we're able to push it up to him. But then when we need to go, you know, more with a federal level, then we call our friend Anna. And Anna's always been a great friend to our Better Business Bureau. And so would you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Sure, Jason. And just to echo Sean, we always appreciate partnering with the Better Business Bureau as well as the state attorney general's office. Uh, we can't do our work without our great partners, uh, and so we just appreciate being invited to be here today um, and to hear from everyone about what they're seeing uh, in regards to scams, because the Federal Trade Commission's mission is to stop unfair or deceptive acts or practices in the marketplace, and that runs the gamut from anything from robocalls to frauds to some of the scams we're going to talk about today to uh, nationwide false advertising. I do have to give a standard disclaimer before we begin that any views I express today are my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the commission or any of the individual SPAC commissioners, but I look forward to talking with everybody and getting some great information out there about how people can protect themselves from some of the scams we're going to be talking about today. So with these different scams, uh, we call it the 12 scams of Christmas. And I can promise you that a scammer is not your true love. So he's not going to be bringing you, you know, two turtle doves. Uh, but what I can tell you is that the organizations that you would turn to 
for relief during scams or for help with scams or to, man, what we would prefer to be educated before you ever fall for a scam is the Better Business Bureau, the Attorney General's Office, you know, the Consumer Protection Division, and the Federal Trade Commission. So what we're doing is we're bringing all three of them to you. And on the fifth day of Christmas, our true love gave us free gift cards. That's it for my singing. But uh, this is this one has really come about, and we saw an uptick in this with COVID again, you know. Uh, and it was free gift cards from, or free trials from Hulu, Verizon, Netflix, and you know, just because of of COVID and you're indoors all the time. We're giving away seven hundred and fifty dollars. Who who does that? Nobody does that, and it's going to be the same way throughout the Christmas season. And we think that we're going to see it more from places like Amazon, or you know, not Amazon itself, but people mimicking Amazon and mimicking big box stores. And you know, and how this typically happens is you get a text message. Uh, you know, and all of a sudden there's this crazy link on your phone, which, you know, let's all remember that we're now walking around with tiny computers and those computers are just the same as, you know, your computer at home with an email. And that's how the majority of viruses and malware and everything bad that can steal your identity. It typically comes in through email or on your telephone through a text. And so we call it in the business, <laughs> we call it phishing when there's an email, but when there's a text message, this is the word of the day, it's called smishing. And so uh, we've seen an uptick in that and we've seen a lot of free trials and a lot of free gifts and different things like that. But, you know, I want you to treat everything just like if you were sent a suspicious email you know, don't open it. Just delete it. Don't click on that link. Uh, you know, I know that you shop a lot at certain places, but honestly, they probably hadn't thought that much about you to send you a free gift card for $800. Uh, we, we, I actually saw this firsthand with some local teachers, and they got word that uh, Walmart gave out so much money for teachers for their classroom. And so they bombarded Walmart because if you tell a teacher you're going to give them something, they're going to show up. And uh, they did. And that was partially true. And it got distorted on the Internet. And luckily, this teacher didn't click on the link. But what it is, is Walmart adopts a classroom, not every single teacher in the district. And so they do, while Walmart does a lot, they, they were not prepared to do for every single teacher. And thankfully the teachers that I, I saw firsthand did not click on the links to get the free gift card. So now I've done a lot of talking and these guys are far better experts than what I am. Have y'all got anything to add to the, to the free gift cards or free trials? Well, I, Jason, I was just gonna say, sorry, go ahead, Sean. Oh, uh, thank you, Anna. Uh, we, yeah, we've also seen the free gift cards, but we've also seen, uh, for as an example, we've seen an Amazon AirPods raffle uh, where a consumer gets a, a text saying you, you've won the uh, AirPods and click here to claim your prize. And, and well, who doesn't want a free pair of, of AirPods? But the, the question that you have to ask yourself is I never entered a raffle uh, to begin with. So how am I getting this, how am I getting this award if I never entered it to begin with? Um, so, and the, the scam artists will also target groups of people. So, you know, Jason mentioned teachers. So the, the scam artists are trying to use some hook, whether it be cultural, uh, your, your workplace, just something that's gonna lure you in that makes it sound like it's more personalized to you. And Anna, I'm, I'm sure you have some good ads here as well. I was just gonna add that if it sounds 
too good to be true. It's probably too good to be true. And if you, as Sean said, if you haven't entered any sort of raffle or contest, or even if you have, the chances of you winning are unlikely. So once again, as Jason said, do your homework. Uh, make sure, again, it's that immediacy thing. You're excited. You see a link. Um, you're going to click on it, but don't do that. Um, just before you click on anything, a lot of times, you know, these people are trying to download some sort of malware. Or they're trying to get personal information from you once you do click on the link. So once again, just do that gut check to make sure that it makes sense um, before you do anything. And if you're getting unsolicited text messages about money that you've won or prizes that you've won, it's likely a scam. Um, 